What is up, brothers and sisters? It's Jay Campbell, and you're listening to the Jay Campbell Podcast. Join me for regular deep dives with amazing beings whose work is manifesting a golden age. And remember, you create your reality by your focused thoughts, conscious words, and intentional actions. Raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay Campbell and I'm making a quick commercial here for seercustom.com, my revolutionary cosmeceutical peptides company, co-founded with my business partner, Nick Andrews, who happens to be one of the world's top formulators. We have the revolutionary Oxano Grow, which completely regrew my hair. If you guys saw my hair about a year ago, I was almost bald. I even had the micropigmentation program from uh, Advantis. And now I've completely regrown my hair. That's just with version one. Version two is now in the marketplace or will be very, very soon. And it is three to five times as more effective than the current version or the original beta version of Oxano. We also have Royal Blue Serum and Sky Blue Cream, which will completely upgrade your face. I mean, I'm almost 50 years old. I have a pretty good complexion. I use it regularly. My wife swears by it. It will reduce fine lines and wrinkles, dramatically improve elasticity, and just the overall look and feel of your face. You feel great on both of them. You can also use them with red light therapy. There's all sorts of great stuff. So go to a seercustom.com. And if you're a first time customer, use the coupon J15 to take 15% off your purchase. I appreciate all you guys and I send you tremendous love and light. Well, hello everybody. What is going on? It is Jay Campbell. And of course you are listening to the Jay Campbell podcast. And I'm very excited today to be joined in my new and improved virtual StreamYard studio with two amazing gentlemen, the actual owners of Focus Life Force Energy, and that would be Clayton Stedman and Jeffrey Stegman. Gentlemen, how are you guys? Doing great. Glad to be here. Yeah, Phenom- great, Jeffrey. Good to, see, uh, good to see you, Jay. Yeah, it's phenomenal to have both of you guys here. So for a lot of you guys uh, on the Jay Campbell podcast, uh, I've actually been involved, I think, in two interviews with you guys going back uh, to my days with Jeffrey Doherty. And then I think you guys did one for my podcast too. Um, but Focus Life Force Energy is flfe.net. I have actually been using their technology for close to six years. I think it's actually, guys, goes back to 2015, if, mm-hmm. if uh, I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And uh, it's an amazing technology. We're going to get into that in this show here today. Um, and why it's so important to raise your consciousness, obviously not just as a person, but the field around you and the way where you live in your home and of course in your car and wherever you may travel. So it's an honor to have both of you guys here today. Uh, I'm very appreciative of you guys being here. In fact, uh, for everyone who's listening to this podcast or of course viewing it when it does run, um, there is a 700 level of consciousness field around this podcast that these gentlemen are so gracious to provide. Uh, And again, we'll talk more about that if you don't understand what that does mean. But uh, guys, it's an honor to have you guys. Uh, Today is June 17th, 2021. I don't know when this podcast will run. It will run sometime in the future, relatively soon. But I always like to mark the date because when I have podcasts or guests come on the Jay Campbell podcast, I kind of like to ask them, you know, their thoughts of what is going on right now. And obviously you guys are very aware of 2020 and, you know, everything that happened as a result of that. And now here we are again in the middle of the year of 2021 and time is seemingly speeding up. I mean, you know, I'll go to you first, Jeffrey, like your thoughts on planet earth right now. Well, it was quite a wild ride last year and we measure consciousness on the Hawkins map. I see the Hawkins map behind you there. Uh, using kinesiology, muscle testing. And, um, you know, we've, we've looked back 3,000 years, um, measured the, the earth. And, you know, 2019 was reaching some of the highest levels for the whole yeah. planet. And then we took a wild ride down into the fear zone, <laughs> down into 100, and the, whole, the world was at 100. So um, incredible. And now we're climbing back up and we're really making good progress on the rapidly. way back up. Yeah. yeah, rapidly moving back up. Yeah, I was just going to ask you both that. I'll go to you, Clayton. Um, without giving any credit to the left-hand side of things, uh, do is, is what is happening now just the inevitability of consciousness again 
increasing no matter what, you know, again, the, whatever you want to call them, the, the, those who would hold us back have attempted to do, um, is it just the, are we just now in the inevitability zone where, you know, over the next three to five to 10 years, you know, consciousness will rise and we will get into a golden age on planet earth. Hmm. Well, because of the trajectory of the positive influences in the world, you could say it's inevitable and we have free will every moment right. of the day, Jay, right. we make a choice. And so, um, you know, if you look back on April last year was the lowest year since like the dark ages, the lowest month since the dark ages, it was 100, the earth was at fear. And, uh, we were just doing some testing this morning, the earth at 234 over nice. the previous 24 hours. That's not a great metric because a 24 hour period is not stable. Right. Like last year when the um, the protests or what do you mean we call it happened at Capitol Hill, the United States had had gone up quite a bit, but then it dropped down to 150 for three days. So at, at anger, right? Yeah. So when you have an incident like that in society, it can uh, like like 9/11 affected the world because it was a worldwide phenomenon more than just right. the U.S. Where Capitol Hill was just more of a U.S. situation. Right. Right. So different events in uh, the world will affect the overall planet and the individual countries and then the region differently. Right. But uh, yeah, I just want to reiterate that we're making that choice to go up on consciousness every day. Right. Yeah. Or not. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, it's, it, it, it's, 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 that's, that's, it, that's right. I mean, you know, you know, I was, I, I obviously I'm a huge Hawkins fan, Walter Russell fan, uh, Neville Goddard fan, you know, Joseph, uh, the guy that wrote the impersonal life, whatever his name was. But I mean, you know, all of these guys, you know, discuss the idea that consciousness, we get where we place our consciousness. Mm -hmm. So it is a choice every single day to create your heaven on earth. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't matter where you come from, you know, because as Walter Russell said, we come out into the jungle and begin the ascent to the top of the mountain. But mm -hmm. it's like, you can be here and still choose. Obviously it's harder because of your awareness, but you can still choose to go here. Right. Mm -hmm. So like you said, every single day is a choice of where we want to go with our consciousness or where we want to place our consciousness. And I think it's important before we get into your, your guys points, because this is going to be an amazing podcast. I already feel the energy. Um, you know, I personally made this decision myself when I came back from Peru in 2019 in July, I told my wife and of course my sales director at that time on my real estate team and his wife, who now I've become so super close. We're so spiritually connected now that I was changing my life that like co raising consciousness was all that mattered. There was nothing else. All this stuff that I was known for the books and, you know, my quote unquote internet fame, it meant nothing if we could not, you know, change the vibrational field of this planet. So, you know, I, for, you know, you and I have, we haven't talked in, in a while, but you know, I completely changed my entire brand. Everything I do, it's all about consciousness, you know, mm -hmm. raise your vibration. Mm -hmm. So um, it's important to me that I talk to folks like you guys, you know, who are doing such an amazing job of like positioning this because what you guys do is more important than anything else. Mm -hmm. You know, when people ask me now all the time and I'm doing blessed to be doing all sorts of like summits in speaking events and all these different things, right? They always ask me like, what is the one thing that one tip, one thing that we can do to blah, 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 whatever. And I said, raise your consciousness. Mm -hmm. I say that every single time. And sometimes people look at me with that blank stare because they have mm -hmm. absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. My family are very accomplished, very successful people, and they have not gotten above the line, you know, and certain things, as you guys know, and I, we're going to get to that. That's the next point that we're going to get. So people can really understand this, but it's amazing how many people are still in service to self due to the matrix. Mm -hmm. yeah, and another way we think about rising in consciousness is increased freedom. So freedom from maybe patterns that we've been in beliefs about ourselves, maybe right. societal thought forms that the more that we can rise in with it is increased freedom, you know, to, for joy, living with joy and love in our lives. You know, It's so beautiful. Just explaining the difference between joy and happiness. Mm -hmm. 
because tra- happiness, as you both know, is transient. Mm-hmm. And joy is a state of being. Well, part of it may be they just haven't discovered how much fun it is. Like when you discover the path of growth and you get, you know, even over the line, as you say, just probably the 200 line in Hawkins, right? Uh, map of consciousness. It's the great, it's the greatest adventure you can ever live, I believe. Right. And um, when you find the joy in that, in, even though you may not be a joy, it becomes this uh, never ending upcycle of an adventurous life. Right. And uh, mm-hmm. I think, you know, the materiality thing is pretty intriguing and the, the fear and the despair, if you listen to mainstream media, it's just, it wears, it wears right. anybody down. I mean, environment is more important than will. And if you put yourself in an environment of negative, repetitive programming, you're, you're right. You're, you're right. In your own future. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's, well, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. I was just going to say, as soon as you said, you know, the mainstream media, it's part of your environment. And if you're watching that news or it's, you know, it's on every day while you're exercising or doing whatever, that's part of your environment. And that, you know, what Clayton said, environment's more important than will. Um, that's a, that's a really interesting statement, you know, cause you can oh. try to will yourself into mm-hmm. these higher levels, but it's what you surround yourself with, you know, the people, the, the, the media, um, and, you know, we'll talk more about the environment that, 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 you know, we, we activate, or that's part of FLFE too. It's, but it's, it's a personal choice to make that, which can then launch you into those, the, the evolution. Clayton, that's one of the most profound statements ever on the Jay Campbell podcast. I mean, I'm sitting here right now and my right arm has all my hair standing up because I'm thinking <laughs> about it. As you said, what you just said, Jeffrey, I mean, Wow. Because I always think about my father. My father is a brilliant man. You know, intellectually, he is like no equal, memorized dictionary. I mean, it's just insane stuff. But he's so stuck in that environment of watching CNBC, Fox News. Like, it's like, I mean, I question this all the time. Like, how is this going on? How can this man be so well reasoned, but so distant, you know, vibrationally? And that's not as a judgment. It's just kind of like I, I try to intuit. Try is the right word because I can't. But it's like it's mind blowing that so many people are in these fields of dissonance. And that that statement though that you just said is so powerful because you're right. Your environment will dictate. It's like a what's a, it's like the Pavlovian signal, <laughs> and it's just a constant drone. And nothing will take you out of it until you remove the remove it. Mm-hmm. And even you know beyond the, the the mainstream media, you know it's like the YouTube feed you follow, right? right? The algorithms go. You watch one. I don't know. Conspiracy theory is the wrong word because that's you know created to hide things. But sure. but you know you what watching what YouTube you know sequence you follow, you know because those videos get shown up to you, and then the next, and the next. It's like those can also be a a, a low consciousness uh, rabbit hole. I, I would uh, say, all of it. yeah, I, I would yeah. say almost all of it is. I mean, obviously, there's videos out there like ours, but as you know, you just said it. The algorithm suppresses all that. All right, well, let's get into consciousness. For again, I, you know, you guys know this, but uh, most of my viewers are very aware of this because this is pretty much all I talk about now. But I'd like to hear from you guys. So first off, talk a little about Focus Life Force Energy. Company was founded in 2013, which is absolutely amazing. Eight years ago, um, and again, I, you know, for just people who want to know what it is, I'll let you guys talk about it. But again, I have it. My wife has it. We have it in our house. So we have three, two lines in our home. Mm-hmm. So why don't you guys talk about first consciousness itself, if you want to quantify this for a second, and then get into FLFE. You know, and, and again, high level. Want me to start with the map of consciousness? Because we sure. do. I mean, sure. obviously, uh, your your um, your audience is familiar with it. What I'll, what I'll, if I remember, I'll throw in a consciousness uh, factoid at the end that you may not have uh, may not be able to test. So we'll do something like that. That uh, I mean, the the potential of kinesiology is to recognize that we're correct. We're directly connected to divinity at all times, and when you listen to um, mainstream media or any source of information that's below 200, because your audience will understand what that means, uh, uh, Jan, the Hawkins map, 
the Hawkins Map 200 that's line of integrity, it actually blows out your acupuncture system. So if you want to do a test and you're any kind of a good kinesiologist, and some people that are really high can't do testing, just turn on the mainstream media for a while and listen to the update on uh, COVID. And you'll, they'll go negative. And if you keep doing that to yourself over and over again, you get entrained in negativity. And so that's the part of the part of the physiology part of negative entrainment fields. So just be very careful what you watch. And um, so each level of consciousness has a certain number of microwatts of electricity with it. So I'll just talk about some stuff that people may not talk about a lot. Sure, no, this is amazing. Keep going. And uh, one person. So if you want to make a difference in the world, some people think, well, how do I do that? You know, you can raise a, a child. That's a great contribution. You can build a business, you know. But if you just get to a level of 500 on the Hawkins map of consciousness, you're counterbalancing for 600,000 people below 200. Right. A lot of us forget that. Like that's that's a contribution to the world. You've left the world a better place. And um, what's interesting, Jay, and I, Jeff and I haven't talked much about this, but if you go back to 2019, when the world was at 242, and that's the highest we've ever been on the planet. And that was towards the fall of 2019. Um, the percentage of people below 200 on the Hawkins map was about uh, about 80 percent. Sorry, it was 70 percent. Right. Yeah, 2019 was 70 percent, and uh, pre 86 it was 84. 1986 when we when we went over 200, your audience probably knows that the planet went over 200. Um, this like last over the last month, 80 percent of the people are below 200, but the world's at 234. So what's happening is it's the people that are above 500 that are growing the most right now, Jay. Right, right. So it's the people that are in, and uh, well, somebody told me this, Jeff, I maybe haven't talked to you about it, mm -mm. but it's those people that are really doing most of the heavy lifting. It's the people right. that are already at a, on a pretty high level and they're really growing. And it's not that the other people aren't contributing. It's just that that's what's happening in the world right now. That's yeah. kind of what is. So let me add something to that. And, mm -hmm. and by the way, brilliant point. I would argue and not argue, but just qualify by saying that a lot of people who have had the, you know, that done to them have probably had their fields somewhat altered. And so they're kind of now stuck. Mm -hmm. I haven't done any research on that. There's I mean, a lot of healers that say that you can now who, you know, who can view auric fields who are now saying that auric fields are like not functional if you've been, you know, massively veed. So you know, part of me, I don't think part of me wants to, that's probably why I've avoided it. You know, it's right. Yeah. It's right. But I mean, that would be plausible. I mean, you know, if that's mm -hmm. where it's happening. So the people that are not are obviously as the energy shifts, the planetary, you know, goes through, you know, all this different energy that's hitting this planet right now. Um, I would assume that makes a lot of, that's plausible. That makes a lot of sense. The people that are already raised are raising higher. So it's essentially they are now bringing all the boats in the harbor. Right. With and those those people may be disconnected from the media, worked on themselves, and went higher during this period. Um, exactly. And the people that dove down and, and entrained with the media and are still right. maybe entrained with it are, are, you know, caught in that, like, Clayton said their their system is entrained and it's you know like it's harder to get out of it it's like you're in a tractor field you know so um that may also be part of what's going on um and you know what may be interesting jay if you got some testers in your community is to test the level of consciousness of the intent of the creation of a substance that's supposed to be put into your body and that applies to anything like your products, by the way, they test the level of consciousness, the intent for the product you sell is nine ninety nine out of a thousand. Wow! So you want the best for people. And I'm not saying your products are good or bad. I don't know anything about no. them, but you know, when we were coming on today, it's like, well, who's Jay and where is he these days? It's like, yeah, you, you, <laughs> you know, so you kind of did the audit on you, right? And uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, after we're done, we can talk. I can tell I you some you numbers. Told if me you want. I was going to hit the. I was gonna hit stop. No, no but that's amazing to know. But I mean, truthfully, that I know that that is true because both of my partner and I are very high vibrational people, and our mission is to serve. Yeah, mm -hmm. you want the best for people. Money. That's what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not to make money. I mean, we, you know, that's very visible on our science slash about me, us page or our story, which is being evolved ourselves right now. But it's we want to create the golden age. That's what we're here mm -hmm. for. Yeah. We're not here to make money or to sell this to a virtual, you know, a venture capital company. This is like 
what is a bigger problem for people than hair loss and skin issues as they age? Mm -hmm. I mean, nothing, right? So we have products that, I mean, I won't say fully solve it, but they can help with people mm -hmm. and assist. Mm -hmm. And it's always been, you know, both of us. I'm so awesome. I mean, honestly, I feel so amazing that you said that. And I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, it's it's true. It's absolutely true. Well, when we see those kind the, those kind of intents, like 999 level of intent, I mean, this is where the magic happens. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's 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 an assist. You know, you it's there's an assist at that kind of level. It's so high consciousness. You know, so wow. that kind of intent towards towards the world and towards the customers. Wow. Well, I mean, honestly, I almost have tears right now. I feel so good. I, you guys, thank you. <laughs> I mean, believe me, for the Jay Campbell listening audience, I'm not editing this, and I did not pay these guys to say that. They completely <laughs> surprised me. So uh, that's awesome. I wasn't even expect. I wasn't even expected to say it. No, I'm so <laughs> glad that you did. I mean, I, honestly, let's but let's keep going. So, um, you know, back to what you were saying, Clayton, because you were making some pretty profound statements. Uh, but the energy field, I and mean, you said it too, Jeffrey. But the, so the attractor patterns are you know, it's easy to get pulled into the fear vibration. Um, if you're watching again, the simulation of the mainstream information, right? Like, so, well, let me ask you guys an important question actually relevant to this. And I've never asked anybody this. Should we as higher consciousness humans remove anything that gives them access to our field, i.e. televisions? Or is it just moderation? Because I mean, you could make a pretty strong argument now that like anything from a programming standpoint coming out of a television screen is not positive. Hmm. Want to go first, Jeff? Well, it's not something we've researched. It's certainly, I mean, I don't, I don't, I can't even access news channels, you know? Um, so I can watch, you know, I can watch a movie or I can watch, you know, Gaia TV and things like that because I only have right. internet. But, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's something to be aware of uh, what's around us all the time and what that means. Uh, and of course, I don't, I don't have any smart devices in the house, that kind of thing. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's something to be concerned about. Um, and, and it just transcend, you know, like, I got a big stack of books here. I love reading books. Right. Yeah, you know? me too. Me too. My, my, and my kids do, but we still have a, you know, I have a flat screen here in my studio for, you know, whatever audio visual type stuff for business stuff. And we still have the flat screen in the living room, which barely gets watched. Like you said, we watch a movie, you know, my, my daughters don't even watch it, but it's still, still there. You know, so it's it's an interesting question. I mean, like you said, you have to be aware. But I mean, you know, I mean, as we evolve more and more, I mean, it may be something that you should just not even have. Well, one of the things that's worth mentioning is the there's a very different there's a very big difference in the field of an individual watching a movie that's below two hundred, and an individual listening to a mainstream media broadcast that's live that's below 200 wow. because you're getting connected to everybody else that's been right. that whose acupuncture systems are blown out and that starts to pull you it starts to pull you like a magnet into the negativity wow. so separating from the live programming that's negative is something that's that is worth considering in my in my from my point of view and i i struggle like I have a habit of listening to the radio when I cook, you know, and I just, I just, but once a week I just forget and I just turn on at a habit and it's like five minutes later, you know, it's like, Oh, literally it's five. Sometimes it's longer than five minutes, but usually within five minutes, I'm like, what is this? Like, what's all like, the world is not like this, you know? And so I just turn it off and um, even CBC radio up here, which is pretty, you know, kind of leftist. They had a, they had a great thing on today. It was, you know, they, a lot of kids aren't able to do their graduations in high school. So they're having these kids on and congratulating them, but graduating high school, that was, they have nice special interest stuff like that. Sure. Uh, so I was able to enjoy that, but it's just so seldom now it's almost hardly, it's not even worth the pain of just having to turn it off a few minutes later. And um, yeah, that, that's one thing for sure. I would you know suggest to people is to pay attention to the difference when it's live and when you're just watching it on your own. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's amazing stuff. I mean, I think of, 
you know, I'm just giving you examples of my parents, my Monica's, my wife's dad, her mom's past. Um, we talk about it, you know, they, that like a lot of that generation just grew up with the, the, the boob tube, right? The television was just on. And I mean, literally like in the background, like people focused and functioned with the television running in the background. So, I mean, the, you can't even, I, it's hard to comprehend the manipulation with just the EMF and the, you know, the radio frequency waves, you know, it's just, it's mind blowing really, but you're right. And I, I never even thought, thank you for that, Clayton. I never even thought about the, the live aspect of it because now you're like you said you're blown out because now you're connecting to literally hundreds of thousands if not millions of other people who are blown out so it's just wow insane man literally that's 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 incredible stuff um okay so let's talk about flfe um from a standpoint of what does it do you know why would somebody want this in their house i mean again i know all this but you know for the purposes of my audience who may not maybe talk a little bit from a high level well back to environment our the purpose of flfe is to support the optimal environment for conscious evolution or for the evolution of consciousness you could say because it sometimes it's not even conscious right um but having that environment so that's that's where FLFE started is, you know, what can we do with this environment? And we found a technology, we found inventors that were able to activate a high consciousness field. And it's a concentration of life force energy. That's why we call it focused life force energy, chi, prana, um, in, in this higher vibrational field. So we're, you know, through Hawkins work, we become familiar with fields and that there's fields of consciousness everywhere not you know it's not just in the brain you know ne neurons firing but that there's fields everywhere including the chairs and the tables and you know made by the people at the time and it's held in the land and um in the building materials and the crystalline materials you know consciousness of what occurred before and that environment being more important than will really is the underlying, you know, factor. And so with FLFE, we're activating a high consciousness field anywhere in the world. And it happens almost instantaneously. Um, our system, the FLFE system, uh, which was has evolved from the original inventors, uh, is a quantum association based on a unique identifier for the space. So it, it could be an address, a legal address, uh, and that doesn't work in all countries because some countries, the addresses are not as regulated or they're more word of mouth or they're happening so fast that, that, that the legal system isn't keeping up or, or they're subdivided and, you know, illegally. So uh, coordinates also work. Um, and then with the FLFE system, like a free, we have a free trial of 15 days, no credit card. If people get on the website and try that, almost instantly the field is activated, and it's at it's at five sixty on the Hawkins map. So it's in that unconditional love uh, in environment that we're now in to help us. You know, in these low environments, we can overcome those, but it takes a lot of personal energy to mm -hmm. to do that, and it can drag us down, like we've been talking about. Um, but in a in an environment. 560 and we have a we have a slider now you can take it up to 570 you can take it down uh if you if you like um we're just supported to evolve and we're our bodies are supported to uh to heal and to evolve as well you know for us to get uh optimized and well, looking yeah, over yeah. the past year especially wow you know what a difference hey guys what's going on it's jay campbell quick commercial for the optimized tribe with us navy seal michael jaco and i every monday night at 6 p.m pacific standard time there is not a single group online where you will get the highest level intel that michael and i can provide you from mastering intuition to fully optimizing your hormonal health to improving your fitness to raising your vibration and increasing your consciousness there isn't a single group online with two dudes like michael and myself helping people become the best version of their self. It's literally $99 a month and you get a 90 minute call with me and Michael every single Monday night. Don't wait another second. Sign up now at the link 
theoptimizedtribe.com. I appreciate you guys, and I send you tremendous love and light. I mean, I can personally say, like I said, I've had this to, to my audience. I mean, I've been using you guys' technology for a long time, and I remember when we first turned it on, the difference in our dogs. Like, mm -hmm. our dogs were way more calm around each other. Um, they just, I mean, it was, I thought it was transformational. You know, my wife, you know, recognized it uh, immediately because our little rat dog Simba, you know, is, a uh, uh, was, is the alpha and he would always be yipping and yapping and what go, you know, going after our little, or not our little at the time he was a lot smaller, but uh, now he's bigger, our, our, uh, our blue nose pit bull. And they're both very well trained and beautiful dogs and loving and everything like that. But uh, as soon as that was turned on, he stopped. He just all of a sudden was like, okay, I'm cool with this dude. <laughs> <laughs> i mean it was unbelievable i mean I'm sorry, i told you guys that before but for the audience that has not heard that podcast from way back when um it, it definitely transformed him and just so you guys know you know we moved from la which is mm -hmm. a lot darker place uh to where we are now <clears throat> in the um essentially the vineyards of um Murrieta, right? So we're like 46 and a half miles north of San Diego and we're at 1800 feet and it's absolutely gorgeous here. I mean, I, I don't have any smog, no pollution. It's like living in San Diego at one fifth of the cost. But since we've moved down here in September of last year, we actually didn't really move in until the second week of October because we had some refurbishment done. But uh, this place is, I can't see myself leave unless I left the States. Um, it's just beautiful. You know, it's absolutely amazing. And it's just, it's calm. You know, every night we have an amazing, spectacular sunset and the dogs are calm and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously a big believer in uh, focus life force energy, but uh, for so, so for someone, you know, and again, a lot of my listeners are into, you know, consciousness and, and understanding this, but what would be like your guys main, you know, takeaway for somebody that doesn't understand this or, you know, is not, you know, isn't as familiar with this stuff for why they would want to have this in their home. Well, um, if you look at the history of humanity, people travel all over the world to go to pilgrimage sites and people recognize the, um, uh, the grace that's there, I guess, um, you know, all those right. people praying, all those positive thoughts in the environment, as Jeff said, now, FLFE isn't as high as some pilgrimage sites on the planet, but it's higher than most. And so you get to have that same influence in your home, supporting you to be your best. And um, I mean, we tell people to trust themselves. We're here to we're here to empower people more than sell them something. I mean, of you buy a subscription or not at this point, it doesn't matter anymore. The company's in 55 countries and you've got thousands and thousands and thousands of subscribers. So we want you to trust yourself. And if you try it, there's, you know, there's, you, you can't get negative build. There's no credit card needed. You have to actually come back and sign up and you can turn it on and off. You can slide the consciousness up and down. As Jeff said, you have an EM, EMF mitigation uh, aspect to it. You can turn that on and off as well. And we have a new energized nutrients program coming out, Jay, and you can slide that up and down because it energizes your food specifically. That's amazing. I want you guys to talk probably a little bit more about that. And also, you know, feel free to talk about the EMF mitigation because that's a big thing. I mean, everybody now has a 5G phone for the most part, you know, if you've updated your phone this year um, and all this stuff, you know, again, not covered, but I think it is important. I mean, I, I speak about it, but, you know, I mean, feel free, you know, to elaborate on that. I just, I'll let Jeff maybe speak to that. I just, like, we want you to trust yourself and be your own consciousness researcher. I mean, we've given you some tools to help you, but um, trust yourself. If you try it and it doesn't work, then it, that's okay. And sometimes people see it in their pets more than they see it in themselves. Sometimes they notice it in plants more than they see it in themselves. It doesn't mean you've done anything wrong. You're not evolved. Some people go to a Reiki treatment and they notice it really, you know, like right away they notice it. Some people don't. You know, we're just wired a bit different. So just uh, just trust yourself. Mm -hmm. Would, would you guys say, though, I mean, and this is just my opinion, but would you say that lack of trust of self is going to be more indicative of not noticing something because i mean i know that in my life until what you know and it wasn't until my really my second dark night of the soul my early 40s that i really started to love and trust myself and it, it, it took work and obviously 
a focus to it. But I, I think a lot of people who will say, oh, this doesn't work or I don't notice anything. It's and again, it's my opinion, but I, I think it's just it's because they don't notice anything. I You know, I always say it takes a person to wake up first before they realize that they were unconscious of their unconsciousness. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. And there's also, you know, we've got these educations, right? We've been through, yeah. you know, grade yeah. school, high school, college, and all of this is excluded, right? All of these nonlinear uh, experiences are, are excluded. So it, it does take a while to be, you know, of, of recurrent experiences of nonlinear uh, things happening, the movement of energy in our bodies or um, noticing environment, you know, as we walk, as we walk around the world, we can notice different environments, you know, like, wow, this feels creepy. And you're looking over your shoulder, like what's behind me. Um, or you feel really good somewhere, you know, that, that, and starting to trust that as Clayton said, like trust your, your own ability to sense what's going on around you and the movement of energy. Um, and, and nervous systems are also wired differently, you know, mm -hmm. um, we uh, we have a, a nutrition protocol on the website. Um, as you start to rise in consciousness, or you're in a high conscious environment like FLFE, that uh, essential fatty acids and magnesium taken together support the nervous system to 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 build more capacity uh, to carry the energy. So that's another factor, you know, to your how nutrified you are, or how much time you spent um in high conscious environments to you know meditating it, you create your own high conscious environment you know you can't do that um so the yeah the the emf uh part of it you know it's not our focus it's been supporting the evolution of consciousness sure um but we've guaranteed a certain level of consciousness on the properties and we notice and we test every week and we noticed that properties were not reaching 560. They were less than that. And we would investigate Google Earth, talk to the customer. And we saw a pattern of, well, there's a new smart meter installed <laughs> next door or a new cell tower or 5G is going up. And so we knew we needed to do something in order to maintain this pristine environment that, that, that is, we feel is important. Um, and so we began working on what could, what could mitigate it, you know, what could, um, you know, turn it into a positive because, you know, you can shield, you can reflect and, right. you know, somebody else is going to catch that reflection. Um, so what we really looked at the mitigation in terms of harmonizing. So how can we make that, that energy positive? Uh, and we look at it as consciousness lowering, uh, neutral or consciousness raising. So what we were seeing were all these consciousness lowering EMFs and it was affecting properties and affecting the, the health of the property and, and the beings there. So th with uh, Shungite, so we're, we're actually have added the energetic signature of Shungite to the service. And that is part of the, part of the harmonization that happens in the in the environment and then we see what we saw when we added that to the service that so we saw all the properties went up what was it two points clayton four four points on average four yeah. points. might it be higher now because there's more electrical devices out there in the world since years ago right right so we're so we have some um uh, gdv we have a gdv camera study two different ones that we did we can all we could share that if you if you'd like to show it to your audience uh, it's also on the website in the uh, in the evidence page um it's showing the kind of the chaotic energy of normal emfs and and what uh, we're able to do with this technology How, from an emf standpoint i mean is there a way to quantify it like based on level of devices in a home or anything like that, or the signal, or, I mean, obviously there's, you know, interference or environment outside that you can't really probably quantify, which is, as you said, smart meters or 5g towers going up that look like trees. It's incredible. Um, but uh, I mean, is, is there a way to really do that? Well, we use kinesiology, Jay, and we yeah. test if it's consciousness lowering or consciousness raising. 
Right. There's um, and, and the way that our subtle energy technology works, um, it doesn't really show up in a tri-field meter or other conventional type of instruments. Right. So, you know, we, we just own that. That's just, you know, we use a technology that measures subtle energy and that influence. Um, it's also worth saying that we discovered that once you raise the level of consciousness of a, of a, of a device to 580 or higher, so any device that emitted a negative or consciousness lowering EMF, if you raise the level of consciousness of the device to 580, then that would turn it into a positive, uh, it, it would emit a positive uh, EMF signal. So uh, in all of the homes on the FLP service and, and the cell phones, they get raised to 580 or higher, whatever number they need to get raised to, to make that emission positive. So that EMF emission. So we have pictures of people's dogs sleeping on routers. Wow. Because, you know, the, the energy coming off of a router is sometimes like over 600, you know, because they're so negative, right? And then they become so positive because of the, we raise a level of conscious of the device and then we uh, surround it with the energetic signature of Shungite. And Shungite is the only uh, material in existence that we found that actually makes the EMF positive. Yeah, you've got some there. I've got a ton of Shungai. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys should see my crystal overlay. I should take a picture right here and send it to you guys. My my uh, both my wife and my daughter are, are absolute crystal queens. I mean, I'm rolling with Moldavite. Right, yes. You know. Moldavite, <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, but that's awesome. Okay, so let's talk real quick then before I let you guys go. Just the the, the different programs offered. Um. And that's cool though, for me, from my standpoint, cause I never really thought about that, but I mean, I've had all of this for so long. So I've always, you know, been, a, been protected, um, you know, substantially from any, you know, harmful EMF, you know, 5G, you know, whatever, you know, whatever the distance that's coming at us from the EMFs. Um, so that's cool. But then for people again, that don't know, like, what are the programs? Just, just real quick, just lay, lay them out. I could start and hand it over to you, Clayton. Um, so $35 a month is the, is, is the fee. And included in that is, you know, the high level of consciousness, 560 or higher in the slider. Um, as Clayton said, we've got a new energized food coming out, but there's also a current one on the service. Mm -hmm. So what happens is the food and the nutrients in the food are energized in a way that the, you know, those positive nutrients are absorbed into the body better. Um, that's important. And gee, there's GI track, uh, optimization support, uh, there's brain support. And we did a study with IONS Institute of Noetic Sciences in their discovery lab where they, uh, wired up subjects and they turned on and off the FLFE field and, um, executive function was improved and alpha, you know, alpha was, in, was improved everywhere in the brain, which is indicates that, you know, more meditative or restful state, you know, a higher, higher brain state. Um, so those that's there to support us, uh, liver, kidney, gallbladder support, and these are, everything's included. So there's, th these aren't separate things that you have to buy. It's all included. We just keep adding to the same $35 service at this time. And, um, um, by programs. So they're, they're really, they're information in the field and we don't make health claims. Uh, the body's innate intelligence, uh, runs with it and does its thing with these resources. Awesome. Beautiful. Um, can't make health claims, not in the system. Believe me, go look at my website. This <laughs> has not been, uh, what, what is it? Tested what, what by the FDA or something. Yeah. <laughs> I owned a health food company back in the day. We had our natural product numbers and it was, yeah, you, you had to be careful what you put in the label. It's literally amazing, man. It's, I mean, yeah, and everything now, you know, you can, and, and, you know, if you promote things, which obviously we both do that, you know, may compete or not compete, but, you know, do something to the system, you have to be even more cautious <laughs> careful you know especially with like facebook advertising do they allow you guys i don't even know if you do but are you guys allowed to even advertise flfe on facebook or google is that possible they yeah, don't stop we've, it we've done it yeah okay awesome yeah, yeah. Awesome. just wasn't they're they're, they're massively 
They're mm. massively blocking our hair product on Facebook. Really? Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We've we've consulted with some pretty high level people on the algorithm and understanding, you know, how that works. And some they're like, well, you know, you're not an FDA approved, you know. So you know how that works. It, in, mm. Instantly, it's like, uh oh. But okay, because the articles are going to come out and the podcasts are going to come out and people are going to find out that, you know, most of the FDA stuff that they've been using is not as good as what could be. So, um, well, guys, what you, think, may, what you may find interesting, Jay, is uh, sure. you may want to test the level of consciousness of some of these advertising platforms and then okay. test if it's in the highest and best interest of all creation that you advertise on them. Exactly. Well, I mean, yeah. I already know that it isn't. But, uh, yeah, you know, were, in order we to shocked. scale, in order to scale the product to the most amount of people, it seems like sometimes it's a choice, but you're right. I mean, you know, we've actually had that conversation. Like, is it even, is it even worth it? Um, you're going to most likely to get mass distribution, you know, to, again, to the most amount of people you have to choose the, the venue or the, the avenue that will allow that. And it seems mm -hmm. like at the end of the day, yes, I, I mean, I won't get into Google and Facebook as far as like where they are at a consciousness level, but they have so many eyeballs and so many people on them that, you know, if it's going to still do the highest and best good to be there because of that visibility, you know, but that's actually a great point. Now you're making me think about that. We just went through the same thing. We spent a lot of money on advertising agency ads and, and then right. I, I just, I'll just leave it at that. But um, no, I'm, 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 just did, well, yeah. I'll just add, we've been through three agencies. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we should well, you talk know, off Yeah, we can talk <laughs> offhand. I just don't want to say so. You know, I'm not, we're not about making things wrong here, but I, we can talk off. Yeah. No, for sure. But no, I mean, I, I totally see your point. I mean, that that is something that Nick, my business partner, and I have actually discussed. You know, is it in the highest and best? And then for me, it always just comes back to, well, is it, it's visibility, right? And I mean, when you when you realize that, like, I think it's, 79% of the world has a Facebook account. Yes. Well, gentlemen, uh, is there anything else we should know about uh, FLFE, Focused Life Force Energy, before uh, I allow you guys to graciously depart the show? Jay, do you have a link um, on your site somewhere? to? The um, I do. I actually do. You mean my affiliate link, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know it offhand, but I'm, it'll be in the link when this runs. And sure. we'll, of course, put it on here as a banner. But I don't know exactly specifically what it is offhand. I apologize. Well, that will take you to the free trial, which, again, 15 days, no no credit card. And it's just, it's our gift. You know, yeah. we, we felt strongly. Mm -hmm. uh, and that length of time is a long enough time to for someone to really have a benefit. And whether they decide to subscribe or not, it's not important to us. It's, I mean, we love having, we love our subscribers. The FLFE um, family is really important to us. And that's why we keep improving the service, you know, more and more. And it allows us to do service work. We do a lot of uh, mm -hmm. service work, you know, that almost 90% of our energy goes towards that. And that, and the subscriptions support that. Beautiful. Clayton, did you want to add anything? Yeah, we have, uh, if you become a subscriber, we have something called a pay it forward and you get a lower level, 500 level of consciousness with no programs. The programs are request to divinity information in the field, as Jeff said, and you can put that on any place in the world. And that stays on for as long as Jeff now in the business. That's awesome. And that could hopefully lovely 30, 40 years or more. Um, I guess my closing thought is because you're in the health business, Jay, is just to uh, just acknowledge the innate intelligence of the human body and how resilient and incredible humans are. And that if we give the body what it needs to thrive, such as a high conscious environment or good nutrition, and the things you're doing, Jay, that the body knows what to do. We don't have to yeah. tell it. We're, we're gifted with this amazing instrument that is very capable and can use all of these influences that are coming at us as an evolutionary stimulus. Instead of being afraid of them, let's think of them as one more way to stimulate our evolution. And then uh, look for ways to enhance that. And then we're out of the fear, out of the fear zone. Beautifully well said. Um, I got to ask you now that you guys said it. So no, no, so no intention to 
sell FLFE and do something bigger and better? No. You guys are both committed on that? Because my business partner and I talk about this all the time. Like, what is the ultimate end game, you know? And for us, it's to serve as many possible people as possible, you know? Yeah. The end game for me is to do as much good as I can before I leave. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Before you come back, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. In, in, in this go round. Um, <laughs> no, we we have, uh, in fact, it's written into our agreement to, to never sell it. That's amazing. Good for you guys. That's that's mm -hmm. that's absolutely amazing. Um, well, I'll just close by saying that I'm privileged to speak with both of you. You guys are both amazing. I mean, it's I mean, just being with you in this you know, short amount of time. I feel your energy. Uh, I'm grateful. Like in the spirit of gratitude, I, I truly do appreciate it. Um, it's all I'm always humbled and honored and privileged to be around my guests. But you guys are definitely two special brothers. And uh, I would say to my audience that I've been using this technology for six years. It's it profoundly altered my life. It altered my wife's life. It altered my family's life. It altered my dog's life. <laughs> okay. Um, so, and I, and I, you know, I'll make a commitment to you guys that after the show, I'll reach out to uh, Guinevere and uh, I will, we'll, we'll start talking about this much more on my end because uh, I have to do it. Actually, I feel I feel more committed to doing, I'm always like, you know, gradually as a referral partner, you know, done that and, and you obviously sent you guys customers, but now I can, I have so much of a bigger influence now that it's more important for me to now position this the way I need to. And I think this podcast is going to do an amazing job. So like I said, I'll speak to Guinevere and, um, you know, I'll get my copywriting team and we'll do some amazing emails and probably some social media posts and really position this. But like I said, I mean, this thing will do all the talking um, necessary uh, in my opinion. So again, I, I, I humbly thank both of you gentlemen for coming on here today. Yeah. Thank you for all you do, Jay. It's great to see your focus on consciousness and evolution. It's really, it's needed. Thank you. And I appreciate it. Yeah. Congratulations, Jay. Congratulations to both of you guys. I appreciate all you're doing for the world. So to all the amazing folks that watch the Jay Campbell podcast, first off, go to flfe.net, uh, whatever my affiliate code is, uh, sign up. Uh, figure, you know, I'll leave that link in the bottom of this podcast when this runs. Um, and of course, promote FLFE. Tell your friends, your parents, your brothers, and your sisters. And remember, raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. We will see you guys very soon.